Hey, I'm Anna from Empire Chase. So buying a property might be the biggest transaction of your life. So we're here to give you some tips and some tricks on what to consider when buying a property. <music> Financials. So get your financials qualified and set before viewing your properties. Now, when you view a property, you're going to walk through that door and imagine your future potential within those walls. So falling in love with that mental image and then not being able to afford it, it's gonna feel like a real blow. And that's a feeling that we want you to avoid. So this element of planning is vital to do at the beginning of the process. Location. Once your financials are all straightened out, then it's onto the property itself, with location being the most important factor to consider when buying a property. Pick a neighbourhood that's safe, that's secure, with good transport links and good amenities. Also envisage the amenities that you're going to need, maybe not right now, but in the future. So as your life changes and progresses, your location doesn't necessarily have to as well. Also be aware that the neighbourhood can be very pleasant during the time that you go and view it, but don't forget to check it out maybe after dark or on weekends, just to make sure. Price. Now, are you paying the right price? Now, if you're a first time buyer or just maybe moving into the area, you may not know. So do spend some time and do your research on the area itself. Now check the sold house prices and the other properties that are on the market in the area. So you have an informed comparison before deciding on the price. It's also a good idea to speak to another estate agent other than the selling agent to get their opinion on the price. Flats or houses. Now it can be tough to make this decision between the two because both do have winning features of their own. Flats are secure, they're modern and also allow quicker entry onto the property ladder. However, flats are typically sold on a leasehold basis, so that means that you won't own the land that the property is built upon, and you're going to have to pay service charge and ground rent for the terms of that lease. Houses, on the other hand, whilst being more costly, are freehold. They are spacious and they give you potential to extend in the future. Also something to note, the capital growth will be quicker in a house than in a flat. And there are also many more apartments getting built currently, rather than houses, which means that houses are in far more of a higher demand. So make sure to pay attention. Calculate the buying cost. Now when formulating a bid price, always bear in mind the hidden costs, because in addition to property prices, there's gonna be various other expenses, such as stamp duty, uh, a mortgage arrangement fee, surveyor's fees, solicitor's fees, and don't forget the removals and the furniture costs. Also, in addition to those, don't forget to budget for repairs and maintenance, because those costs are gonna spring up a lot sooner than you'd like to think. Use professionals. Most sales fall through due to slow conveyances. Your team can make or break your sale, so hire a good conveyancer and a good team of professionals. Although it also may be tempting to deem that mortgage valuation as sufficient, it's important to commission an independent survey from an RICS surveyor for a detailed inspection of the condition of the house. Lastly, try to view as many, many, many properties before making a decision. Now, it's better that you are fully informed than making a rash decision and choosing wrong. Now, don't worry about missing out on the property. Although this feeling is a little bit strange, don't let it get you down. There's always going to be more properties coming onto the market. And however perfect you thought that property was for you, there's always going to be more just around the corner. So that is all from me and this video today. I really hope that these tips have been sort of helpful in you choosing a property moving forward. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos from Empire Chase.